Hello and welcome back to IMD 127. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to continue with the business project that we started. The, the business that you did your logo for, we're going to carry that. That's going to be your design theme and that's going to be your client for the rest of the semester. Our next uh, project for this, uh, I guess, section of the class is going to be a product business card. The business card is going to be three and a half inches wide by two inches tall or vice versa. You can make this two inches wide by three and a half inches tall. It doesn't matter to me if you have a portrait or landscape. You're going to have a an eighth inch bleed and I'm going to show you how to set that up here in just a few minutes. Um, this project is going to be due November 19th before 5 p.m. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Uh, but first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this quarter inch or this eighth inch bleed. What that is, is if you if we want to have edge to edge printing on our document, what we need to do is set up a bleed to where the printer has a little bit of wiggle room when they're going to go and cut this down. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go to file, new, and that's going to go to the new di document dialog box. And right here I'm going to say I want one artboard, let's go with actually two. Um, spacing doesn't matter here. And I'm going to go 3.5 by 2. That means I'm going to have it 3 inches wide, and 3.5 inches wide by 2 inches tall. And here I'm going to set my bleed. I'm going to go up 8th inch, and it gives me an 8th inch bleed all the way around. So what's that, what that is going to do is going to give me that safe zone that I need to carry my colors out to. Uh, color mode is CMYK and we're choosing CMYK because the final destination for this design is the actual printed piece. So I'm going to go ahead and go with OK. And this is the document that is created. Now these red lines that you see here are the bleed lines. And when we send a, send a document to a printer and we want it to be cut down to 2 inches by 3.5 inches, and we want color edge to edge uh, that's going to overlap or go over these edges, we have to give the printer just a little bit of space to trim off. That way, if we just give them a three and a half inch wide by two inch rectangle, they don't have much room. They have to hit that dead on every single time. And what we want to do is hedge our bets and make sure that we don't show any imperfections on these and we give them a bleed here. So every time you see a document that has color all the way to the very edge of the paper, there's a bleed involved. The color has to bleed over the edge of the paper. All right, so now that we've got that, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to create your business card for the logo and for the company that you have been assigned. You're going to use the same color swatches, the same color palette, and you're going to include on this, let's, uh, give, let me give you uh, an example here. Here we go. You're going to include uh, the name of the person, possibly a title, a phone number, a mailing address, and an email address. Now you don't have to use a fax number because faxes aren't in use all that much anymore. Um, if you feel the need that you have to have a fax number on there, that's fine. Um, but the minimum is the name of the person, their title, their phone number, their mailing address, and their email address. Now, one thing that I do um, ask you guys to also do is to make this two-sided. Because whenever you print, most of the time nowadays, if you're going to get something printed, you might as well get it printed uh, two-sided. So you need to come up with a design for the front and a design for the back. Now, as you see here on this example, all the information is created and contained on the first side. And the back side is just for, for design, for pretty, just to make it look nice. So make sure that you have all of your information on the first side. Let me show you a couple of examples of some of the other works that students have done. This is a good business card. I really like this one a whole lot. This is a great example right here. This is very nice as well. Now along with the bleed lines, 
uh, this girl Jennifer, she also came in and gave herself some guides, which I really, really like because whenever you're printing something, you don't want your artwork or your information too close to the edge of the paper. So it's a little bit un uh, uncomfortable for us when we're reading that. So I would suggest you do another eighth inch away from the border of the paper, just like they did here. And here's some, some of the artwork going off of the page, how they bled it, and they keep most of the artwork contained within that smaller rectangle with those, the, those guides that they have created there. Now here's an example of what we don't want you to do. There is too much going on here. Okay, we've got one picture here, you've got an element here, you've got elements, design elements going here, you've got the design element in the background faded away, you've got all kinds of just different elements going every which way. Stay away from that. That is not a good example of a business card. A business card needs to be legible. Some people want to have information all over the place. Don't do that. Don't give it the shotgun effect. This one has information here in this corner, here in this corner, here in this corner, and then one in the center. Please don't do that. Organize your example or organize your information in a very methodical way. You have alignment. You stick with one alignment where the other one had three. Okay. You group your information. That way, whenever you're looking at this, you know where to go to look for your information. All your information is in the same place. Organize. Okay? It's easier to read. It's more pleasurable for us to look at whenever we're trying to get the information off of it. Okay? Very nice. Very organized. This, there's just too much going on. It's all conflicting information. Okay, for one thing, you've got the hours. We don't need that on a business card. A business card is there just to make sure that people know how to get a hold of us. Okay, and I'm going to keep on kind of harping on this one. This logo has too many images. You've got the text, you've got it skewed and stretched, uh, and then you've got this truck, then you've got this print person up here on top of it. It's too much. There's too much information there that is not useful. So stay away from doing this here. All right. Um, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I've gone over today, I know these are going to be quick here, these other ones, or these next few tutorials, because what we're doing now is we're focusing more on the design and not so much of the technical how-to in Illustrator. Right now, you possess the skills to know how to design an Illustrator. So now we're going to teach you how to use those skills. Contact me often via email or on the discussion forum. I get on there quite often and uh, put in my two cents, even sometimes when it's not welcome. But I get on there and I try and communicate with you as often as possible. If you have any questions, please let me know. Check on the assignments and the discussion boards often. I'll be posting there along with some announcements. I hope you guys have fun with this. I look forward to seeing what you can do often. So uh, let me know uh, of your questions, your concerns. I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. Have a good day.